Hey everyone, it is Friday. I hope everybody's day has been going well. Mine certainly has. Today I'm going to be playing more Death Stranding today. We're going to continue where we last left off. And from what I do know is we need what our main objective today for is to help build a new knot because as mentioned last time I was playing Death Stranding, the facility they had for the knot, it got destroyed. So from what I hear, we have to build a new knot. So that's what we're going to be doing today in Death Stranding. We're going to be making more deliveries into stations and no doubt we'll be fighting more PTs and no doubt I'll get dragged out where all my stuff will get uh, dra uh, will get spilled all over the place. But let's hope it doesn't happen as much as it did last time. Hopefully. But before we do get into this, I got we got a new follow that happened right after it sometime after I got off. So went offline. So let me let's see here. Netjet Michael of 64. Thank you for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to the workshop. And with that, why don't we go ahead and get straight on into Death Stranding, shall we? Continue? Yes. There we go. objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the Cairo network. Now we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo-Devo biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Okay, I need to get the let's see if I can get the truck a little closer so I can. Did I already take an order? Oh wait, I know what these are. These are plates they uh, for some reason they came off when I was in that with Hartman. That's what, what I'm carrying on my back. Place came off and actually I need to replace these plates because they are severely damaged. Let me see if I'm able to do that here. I'm pretty sure I should be able to because I'm pretty sure Hartman probably no doubt put that in this facility where I can't get these replaced. So let's see if I can re recycle and fabricate new. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains.
I'm gonna recycle these because these are heavily damaged. No doubt from when we did that fight in on that beach. So I'm gonna recycle those three. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can move the truck a little closer so that way I can, you know, load everything up. And... Okay. From what it looks like in order to travel, I'm gonna have to... Well, I can't really see them right now because I don't have the locations map. I haven't linked them up, but looks like I, that path might be the best choice to go. After I get the truck closer. There's my truck. Hopefully this gets it close enough to where I can load it up all onto the truck and for the orders. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now, and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So, we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. The strata of the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period. The time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A 
Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Not an antimatter bomb the again. He wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Oh, great. I have to carry another uh, bomb that can that can blow me to pieces. Like carrying the first one, the mountain not see wasn't hard enough. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. Order of time. circumstances he would have died therapeutic hypothermia saved his life but the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him perhaps due to the shock his doom's abilities seem to have increased and now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family my apologies Sam you came all this way to visit me yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> it did. They definitely were weird. Before we do, I'm going to make sure that this is nice and worked on. So we're entering this private room that's right here and get cleaned up before we go on the long mountain journey across the snow plains. Okay. Check on Lou. Okay, now he's all rested. We can head on out. And we're about to carry an uh, antimatter bomb across mountainous areas.
kind of hard to keep steady when you have an anti-matter bomb. It, it, it's kind of hard to keep steady when you're in an area that, you know, is filled with a bunch of rocks. Okay, our first stop is the, the geologist. And we're entering an area with BTs. How lovely. I hate antimatter bombs. I hate I hate them. I hate them. I mean that was ball. I mean I I mean I'm trying to get away from the and uh, you gotta be kidding me seriously. I got to go and do all that again to clean up. That's bull right there. I should I didn't have to do this. It should be nice and clean. Right, time to move. Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's ability seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? You'd have to do all this again after we just did it.
to make sure I don't have to do it again. I'm saving so it doesn't happen again because it was really fast of how quick that bomb blew up on us. I mean, it didn't happen like that the last time. Have to go nice and slow because of the antimatter bomb we're carrying. there's a way to like to stop that because like I've said before I don't know what they were thinking it doesn't have to like go off every and do that effect every time it could you know just simply like saying like BT's been detected Right down, I pressed the button to go fast. Of course, all my stuff gets uh, tossed out. Uh, 
I can't catch a br a break, can I? I mean, already all my stuff gets strewn all over the place. I mean, I still don't understand why they had to have that mechanic in this when the truck, as you can see, is completely closed up. I mean, things shouldn't be falling out of a truck when everything is all closed up. Carry that by hand. I want to load onto the truck. What? I'm in the vehicle. I should have everything, so we can continue. Okay, we are close to the geologist. Truck. I wanted to get the bo uh, I wanted to get the stuff for the geologist out. Okay, so let's see what, what I'm supposed to get to the geologist. 
Okay, medica medication delivery. So let me get the medication. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, here we go. All eight. Delivering cargo. Sam Bridges. Oh, thank God for that. I, I was worried you might not get here in time, but then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff? I put the nightmares down to fatigue. A uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. And all the damage is due to the BT, but at least I got an S ranking. Just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Damn, that is a long Evidence time. Of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. 
That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. Please act. Okay. Well, I'm not going anywhere near there, so I can't really do that. I'm gonna do those missions since it's out of the way. But now that I got that done, I now have to deliver this antimatter bomb to the paleontologist. But um, no doubt if there was an ancient death stranding, the re and if it was the cause of the massive extinction, the reason would be because the dinosaurs didn't know how to deal with the necro necrosis. So a lot of void outs no doubt happened. So that would explain a big massive extinction. Nope, I didn't want to get out. I wanted to check my map. Ugh. The controls on this, I tell you. Hey, the geologist, so... I need to go down here and most likely go across. This looks like to be the safest way. I can't go through that way. Are you kidding me? Uh, I hate the antimatter. I hate antimatter bombs. I really do. I really hate, hate them because I can't go anywhere without them blowing up on me.
Maybe better if I have it up in front with me, so that way it doesn't get damaged. Stop seeing it get damaged every time. I'm having hard enough time with dealing with rocks. And stupid snow not letting me get my truck to go where I want it to go. See, I don't know what... Uh, the, I, the, I hate the antimatter bombs because I can't do much anything because even the slightest little bump causes it to be damaged. Oh, come on. I don't need more BTs. I just dealt with one. Especially when it's a, a freaking blizzard. seen vi damage by vibration every few seconds I get it it's bumpy deliver this a stupid anti-matter bomb if I can't even get across a land full of rocks this is the third or second time this happened and I mean what were the devs thinking with this this is why I think the story is a lot better than the gameplay because I can't even deliver a, anything across a bunch of rocks in a truck when a truck should have when they should have made it to where when it's in the truck it's a cure and it's less likely to be damaged i mean with the way it's going i'm probably gonna have to uh, just uh, park the uh, truck somewhere and hike down since it won't let me get there with the truck and it makes it too difficult
see where the zip line goes. Maybe we can put it on the zip line and move it over there. Okay, so it does go down there. I can use the zip line to take the put the anti matter bomb down there. There we go. Finally, I made it. Ugh. Finally managed to deliver this thing, but I had to do it on foot. Couldn't go with the truck, because every time I tried with the truck, it always kept blowing up. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. You did it, after all. Though I... And for the life of me, imagine how. Seriously, I only get two and a half stars for that. I should be getting at least full of the full three. Oxygen mask, nice. We got a new item. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. 
A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... You could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction. Another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Please okay, so we're going to be doing a retrieval this time. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. Okay, so don't eat wear the mask all the time. Order assigned. But now that I did that, I need to head back up and get my truck because I left it up there because I had to carry that antimatter bomb down because every time I try to go in the truck, it will it would blow up. get off. Now I want to get off.
and I'm stuck. Great. Just great. No, I didn't want to get out. I just didn't want to. <sighs> If I tried to go through here with the antimatter bomb, it would have blown up on me but already. There is a good thing there is a private shelter right here, so I can use that at the private room and get the truck repaired. Because uh, it's taking damage. give us a new one or will it be one of the old ones and it's just one of the old ones Okay, it's not letting me say because I'm in the truck. That's most likely why. Saving so I don't have to go back up to get my truck and have to go through all that again.
Okay, let's see. Where am I going? Oh, I'm actually. Uh, oh, I'm not actually. I didn't need to take the truck to go anywhere. I'm right in the area. If I could back up. No, I wanted to back up, not go forward. This is why you don't want to hire me to be the driver. What? No, 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 I didn't want to go in there. Ah. I'm loading because I did not want to go in here go into the ravine and now and I know there's no way to get my truck out of there so uh, good thing I saved before I went in there trying to back up but it wouldn't let me Why did I go up? I wanted to go down. <sighs> okay, I don't get why it's doing that weird thing where when you press the back button, it makes you go forward and the forward button makes you go backwards. I just want to have the otter uh, is I oh mean it won't work with the otter hood that, and well that's just lazy writing and uh, not having it to where it works with the otter hood
ID. Huh. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Keep on keeping on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, great. I got all five of them. That's good. We got three stars. You know, following for a frame color, volcanic orange. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Hmm. Anyway, I, Interesting. I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar. Well, this is actually one of my stops. This particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further. Oh, so they're okay. That okay. So they're terrorists in that area. And from what, the way it looks, it's the area I you see why it gave us the gas mask because from what it looks like, a lot of this area is highly toxic with gases. It would want it to be delivered to the paleontologist. To obtain orders for C. Well, I am going that way, so maybe I could take on the standard order to retrieve the ancient bacteria stolen by the terrorists. I can do that. I need to check. I should check the status of my non lethal assault rifle. And damn, does it have a lot of damage? And I also need to recycle some things. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to recycle some things and then. Order assigned. Make a new uh, non lethal. 
rifle since this one's really damaged and I also got a few things I need to recycle. Those grenades came in handy, that's for sure. I almost forgot I need to make I almost forgot to make my equipment. <laughs> I'll be going in an area with tear it's might as well put the thing on this or since I have to go through that area anyway these ammonite uh, load these ammonites onto the vehicle Let's see weapons Okay, and I do know I have some other space for some blood bags, which I mean, so place in the utility pouch. And I think there were only two spots. Yep. Okay. So I should be good to go on that. And we should be good to go after some terrorists as well as to recover some fossils because it's especially best I take out those terrorists because. They are in the area where I'm going to be going after the fossils, so. If he goes, what's the whole of I'd be going like SpongeBob going, there's a big rock in the way. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen any road nodes around here.
Okay, this was a lot, was a lot safer. I'm going through the mountains. Well, looks like we already found their camp. am I using? Looks like I already found him.
I guess that's the last of them. Ooh, the, a memory card. Definitely picking that up. You have more faith in your. collect the loot since it looks like no we don't have any other enemies coming after us Okay, let's see, load this. Presence. Okay, we got some chemicals, special alloy. Okay, let's get this over and see what we can get from uh, right what we can t take from the enemy camp. Didn't have much in here. There wasn't uh, there wasn't much in there, but at least we got one of the containers. forward. Nope. I don't understand why he keeps going downhill. I don't want to go downhill.
Let's see what we can get from this one. Okay, let's deliver these to the alien top and just guys by doing this we also recovered some of the other stuff This way, uh, no, no, uh, uh, I don't know what it is with this land. One way and the truck goes another way. Okay, let the battery charge up. Thank you. 
and that cargo has been delivered. Good to see you safe and sound. Wow, can't say I was expecting such a sizable delivery. Might have to slide a few things around. That, not that I might. What do you give us? A special alloy. Lightweight. Okay. Pull that onto the truck. I'll be sure to call on you again. Dude, this should be useful when we need to build a structure. Access delivery terminal port. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing those because I'm not going in that direction. I'm heading to the paleon. Uh, I'm heading to the other so we can get this network up and running. blood off Okay, time to deliver our supplies. If I'm, though I think we still, uh, yeah, if I remember, we still have to go and recover some of them since they were lost in the tar belt. Uh, uh, lost in the tar, if I remember.
uh, geysers. Those and those and the hot springs that are around here in New York are places you don't want to take a dip in because they are scalding hot. I actually remember hearing of a story where teenagers they went and tried to go for a dip in one of the hot springs and it did not go so well because if I remember I think one died and the other one got like severely burnt ended up with uh, burns because of the hot springs. Just what we need, BTs. Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm stuck again. Am I? S oh, come! I, I hate the, I hate the terrain. I can't even move. I'm completely stuck now. It won't even let me jump. And as, and just as I was so close to uh, getting the cargo. Ugh, I hate that. I really hate that. So close to your destination and yet everything gets stuck and I now have to repair my truck again. And wipe the blood off. See, that's what I don't like about, uh, with the private ones is even after because when you go to like to the distribution one, it saves. But if you go like to one of the private ones, it won't save. I mean, it should auto save no matter which one you use. If it's the shelter or what, or one of the others. Okay. Definitely, if they make a death stranding too, they need to make a lot of improvements. A lot of improvements. Okay, let's try this again, and hopefully this time I don't get stuck. Wait, I thought I del I thought I delivered this. I know I delivered this. Why didn't it save it when I delivered this? I delivered the. I delivered those samples. Yeah, I know I delivered these. It should have saved when I delivered these. Not driving all the way back up there. I'm, I can't, I'll just walk up and, and deliver these. Verifying ID. 
will be locked until departure. Cargo bar keeping up. Thank you. Good to see you safe and sound. Wow, can't say I was expecting such a sizable delivery. Might have to slide a few things around. That not that I might. Oh, I just remember when I previously was here, I didn't see, I didn't share the stick, like, like I meant to. Here, this is for you. I hope you like it. Well, it's nice the game is uh, like special alloys. I, w I wish they it could have, you know, given us like a really cool gas mask. to call on you again. Good work. New order available. The great deliverer does it again. Much obliged. Memory chip and data restore. The following data can now be viewed in Cuffling, Kawasaki Ninja H2R. I wonder what that is. Thank you for your contribution. These special alloy, lightweight alloys, put them in the truck. Now let's hopefully this time I don't get stuck on a rock. Wait, am I, where, where was it that I threw?
anyone's watching. I'm not gonna go through there because I'm not gonna get tripped up by that rock again. Two of them. One I can handle, but two? No, no thank you. Oh great, they're throwing they're throwing stuff at me. Glassware from the junk dealer can do it all the way out here. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I was so far away from them and yet all my stuff still ends up getting flung out of the truck. still have a lot of stuff I have to put back in the truck. Ugh, what a mess. This is, wait, I feel like with the BTs they are feeling, oh, you don't want to fight us? Okay, we'll just make a mess and throw everything out of your truck. No, I don't want to carry it by hand. I want to load it to the vehicle. Just 
Should have a blood. Yeah, here we go. Here's the one I can put in. Wish there was a way I can just instead of having to individually do it, just like press and like select a whole bunch and put it in there. Instead of constantly having to choose things individually. I only got two uh, that uh, three of them so this must be number four and that must be number five right there Should be all five of them. Right on. There we go. We got all five. So let's deliver these to what was it? Evil devil biologists.
Okay, there's the evil biologist. So. I'd have to make a new silver hand. It's looking my, the one I got on. It's looking a little rusty. I'm impressed, Sam. Not many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Grenade launcher, nice. We got a grenade launcher. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution, but there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Yeah, where will I be gathering these? Good work. New order available. Please access. First, I'm going to deliver the lost car cargo I got on me to line the load.
Okay, so where am I going? Okay, so I need to go back to Hartman's lab. And there looks to be a path right here I can take that will get me up to Hartman's lab. If I go through here and then there, I should be able to get up there. Actually, since I am heading up there, I might as well take on some, uh, take on an order that does where I need to make a delivery to Hartman's lab. I might as well do that to see if there's one that goes up there. Since I will be heading back there. before I do that one I'm gonna go and see it I'm not gonna take this order just yet because it's time sensitive and when it's time sensitive ones it won't let me go into repair my truck so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head up to because I see a private place where I can get the get the gunk off you know from the BTs and repair the truck I'm gonna do that first and come back here and take on the get the fish order and then head on up to Hartman Slab since I'll be heading there and I can do that. Remember them requiring special alloys. And it looks like this is not one. So, so I'm going back down to get getting that order. I'll deliver the I thought this had been uh, that had been built, but since it has not been built, I guess I'll head on up to Hartman's lab since I know there's a private uh, structure that's been built there to where I can get repairs done. I can get this through. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. Thank you. 
and I can't go up that way. No, I wanted to for shift. Nope. I don't want you to go that way. Nope. Nope. Why? I hate it when it does this. Why? When I'm trying to go one way, it's going the other way. Constantly keep bumping me into rocks. I'd, I'm trying to avoid going into. Stop sliding. Stop. Come on. It wants me to make the delivery, yet it doesn't give me a clear path to go from Hartman's lab from geobiologist. the way I want it if it was rocks and it constantly making me slide when I want to turn <laughs> Tight, uh, a time sensitive schedule. Might be best if I get a PCC out because I'm battery's running really low. Nope. That's not a generator. I said generator, not a shelter. 
I, I chose I chose generator. Construction complete. Uh, I chose generator, not a shelter. I don't know why I built a shelter. I chose no for a fact. I chose generator. Generator. No, <sighs> I need to press the tab. I don't know. It, that's another thing is that if I press the tab, it should show up the map, not like show up the thing if I press escape. I can't go that way. No, I want to down or uh, turn around. <sighs> there we go. Uh, I hate go uh, being in these mountains because they're. I, I hate that they didn't add like you know how with the other with previous they've added like road nodes. That's what they should have added also on here. They should have added road nodes that I can get to, and you know build a road. It would have made things a whole lot easier, but I, it, why they chose to not, I do, will not understand. No, why, why is you going downward? I want to go upward. I want to go up, not down. rock you need to be going up not down
No, no, up, 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 up. Come on, what? Oh. No, 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 no. De uh, why? Why? I said up, not down. Wait, I don't know. I don't, I hate this. I really hate this, the way they did this area. I really hate it because I feel like what they should have done, they should have put road nodes like they did for when you go like from the mountains and everything, but they did not put any here. And now I have to go and load back up because I don't know. And to where I'm not taking this time challenge because I find the whole thing bull because it should be giving me a uh, way like to make roads like it did with earlier in the game. I mean, I had a bunch of nodes where I can make roads, yet there are none in these mountains. So why didn't they add that feature if they it? I mean, I know they want it to be a challenge, but it should be and now I have to exit out because it's doing a, a that glitch again. Because I feel they need to, they should have did a little bit more work. I love the story with Death Stranding. The story is very good. I think they did a very good job at writing it. However, I felt with the way the gameplay is, they should have done a lot more work on the gameplay because the gameplay is just terrible. I mean, I'm trying to go up a mountain and it won't let me go up the mountain. It just keeps sliding me off the mountain. Especially when I'm trying to go through the mountain area to get back to Hartman's lab. I mean, it's the same way with the beginning area. The beginning area, the way they built it, it's just terrible. I feel it's just terrible how they built the beginning area. Let me make sure everything's working right. There we go. Let's try again to see if... Because this part of the map, they should have done a lot more with it, especially they should have added the road nodes like when earlier because because you saw how much easier it made things when doing it. it was tough at the beginning but once I got those roads built everything was smooth sailing and I feel they should have added that feet they should have added those nodes up here as well because things are just plain terrible when trying to do it and I'm back to where I before I delivered this lost cargo I'm delivering this lost cargo but this time I am not taking going to deliver those fish because they keep getting damaged all uh, crazy because uh, just from me trying to deliver them and getting across Access delivery terminal for further information. And I do feel if they ever do make a death stranding to they need to fix a lot of that and make it to where we're either building roads or make it to where the, the truck won't just slide off simply by trying to go up a mountain.
Nope. Okay. <sighs> Curse is button. While I may not take on the rare fish, I am going to stop over at Mount Not City, and if there's anything that needs to be delivered to Hartman, I'll take that on, but I am so not going to do that time sensitive with the fish. Here we have a node that it can make things a lot easier out with this path, which is why I don't understand why they couldn't have all. They, if they wanted to, they could have done it for here as well. They could have added the mountain. They could have added the mountain path, all of it. They could have added that easily. Why they chose not to, I will not understand. Detected. 
All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay, let's see what orders you got that I can take to really nothing for Hartman. Okay, I guess I'll head to the private room. But first, I'm gonna make a new silver hand because I need a new one. Because the one I have on it's a bit damaged. Gotta keep our Johnny Silver hand looking uh, good. Can't have it to where it's all rusty. Cause he wasn't called Johnny Rusty Hand. <laughs> Thank you for your Let me see if Thank how much story makes that note. Know. <laughs> this road node right here needs if I can get to it. Okay, that one needs around 800. No, that's not the note I'm looking for. It was... Let's see which one... I need to check it. It's right out the door so I can check it. Before I get to the private room, let's see if I have any... If the facility has the materials to fully fix this piece of road. Okay, so it is this one, okay. Okay, so 740 ought to do it. No, wait, yeah, 740 ought to do it. No, it, it actually, I think if I ma my math would be correct, it would be 640 actually. So it's 640 for the metal and for ceramics needs round 500 so that's what i need i need to get 640 metal but i don't remember if the metals have 40 so it'll be 650 metal and ceramic it's 500. welcome sam porter bridge
Okay, the, this should be enough to get that piece of road fixed. Or mountain knot. Okay, I was a little low on the ceramics, but that, that but that's not a problem. When it wasn't, I had it right here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me add this. Probably because I wasn't carrying it on my back. There. This road is now fixed. <laughs> well, it's a section of it. See how far this road goes. See, this would make things a lot better if I got the connect if I got the connecting one done. If I got that piece done, this would make things a whole lot better, and that no doubt is where that piece is, so. Yeah, that is that's number twenty. Let's see if I got that one done. Just think how much better and faster get through. That's why I feel the, uh, that the developers they should have made it to where I could do that in the mountains. Because and see, it's a struggle when the in the mountains, and they should have added that system to the mountains as well, not just you know to the this area but all over the place they should have added that and that's what i first thought they would have done since i set all of them down below but they didn't which i think is a disappointment because it would make things so much easier to get around
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam for decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Keep on keeping on. Your work is greatly about the mess. Got... Okay, time to make our tr uh, way back to Hartman's lab. Okay, now what, which way do I go? Ah, uh, I went this way to get to Hartman's lab. Hundred sixty ceramics just lying out here. Definitely collecting that.
change right? How did I out of the damn thing? How did I get dragged out of it? I should not be getting dragged out of the thing. Ugh, the stupid BTs. Can't, they can't leave me alone for one second, can they? stuff all over the place again. for dragging me out and making me have to pick everything up again. I sure showed those BTs. That's what they get for destroying er uh, everything out of the car again. say carry it I said load onto the truck
Now, let's see if we can continue on with, before they come back. Good thing the, there's a bridge here. Made it back to Hartman's lab. Let's deliver this lost cargo. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna be facing, so I am going to save just in case because in the previous instances I've had a, a, a deal with bad guys, and so I'm gonna save. It, we've had a deal with Higgs every time I get a new order, so we might get, end up getting a new one where we have to face off against Higgs, so might as well save now. And before I do, I think... Actually, it, if I think it'll be fine because he's just wearing all winter gear. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. 
We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes, and there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. Why? She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The court shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. <laughs> Dead man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean, they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the president's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, our, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our death stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five. 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some damn, that's a shame. Lost information. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evo Devo tech. All right. How's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. 
Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, bound with strands, which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Yeah, because uh, they, they feared necrosis. The and she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the president is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for E powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single E is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an E. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Right. Okay, so we're back to business as usual. Activating lab security measures. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. <laughs> Always again in the last seconds to put it back up. You have to admit that's funny when he goes, Oh, I need to put this back up. Proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, use the Cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. Well, it makes it's sense because I because I'm building a whole fr freaking relay, so of course I'm gonna have a whole lot of stuff. Right, about that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the tar melt. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, it's our best shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armory. We're counting on you, Sam. Damn, 150 pounds. I'm going to be carrying a lot.
Well, at least this time I'm not carrying an antimatter bomb, so it should be a lot easier. So we can get out. Before I do, best to make a, I make a stop at this private shelter since I'm going to be going all the way back across. Again, I still feel that they should have added the repair, road repair nodes up in the mountains as well because it because roads make things a lot easier to travel and by them not doing it, it's just making it a little bit more harder to constantly go through, especially when you got the BTs everywhere. Hey, wait, it looks like did the color of my did the color change of uh, my suit? It looks like it did. Yeah, I remember it being darker. I'm going through I should probably check to see if there are any deliveries I need to make nope that wasn't the way I wanted to go If there are any things I need to go, like to see where. Okay, I. Okay, where I'm gonna be going is. Okay, let's see. No doubt my path is going to take me past the paleontologist. Actually, no, if... Because I'm at Hartman's lab, I... Mind trying to see if I can go through... There, so what I'm gonna do before I to take on any mission is save.
because I don't know where um, but I'm gonna see if there are any because that's where I know I need to go so let's see Okay, get, there's only one more going to the evil biologist, so take that. Order assigned. Because I think there's a way I could go through. Hey, Soul Keeper, welcome on in. My days been go uh, going well, aside from I've been having a little trouble in the mountains and in Death Stranding, I've ha been having a little trouble with getting through the mountains and BTs throw my stuff everywhere. But other than that, I'm enjoying the story so far. I hope your day's been going well. I just woke up from a nap and I have a bit of a headache today. Ugh, the headaches. I know if you do taste some ibuprofen, that'll make it, your head feel a lot better ap after it takes effect. Because that's what I always do whenever I get a headache is I taste some ibuprofen. Okay, this looks like a way down. Okay, th apparently there was a path uh, to Hartman's lap. Uh, back to Hartman's lab from here. Oh, damn, rocket slides. That's not good. Allergies are kicking in. I'm allergic to pollen and where I am trees and flowers and pollen are very common so my nose is a bit stuffy too. I wanted to relax and watch my favorite ice steam in stream. Uh, th th thank you Soul Keeper. I really do appreciate that. I do. I know the feeling of allergies when it comes to the pollen because my allergies they get severely bad when there's pollen in the air. It happens every fall and spring. But from where I am, it hasn't really affected me a whole lot. It has in the past because of places I've been to. I mean, it would be like really bad. Like my nose would get all stuffy. My throat would or say and and the coughing. Oh, set this aside for you thinking you might like it. Do you have? 
What do we get? Oh, it just gave us chemicals, high density. Nothing, so off we go. But yeah, my out it it's not fun having allergies. It though was, from the past what's been happening is but it gone into allergy season is it mostly has gone to where my eyes get like real itchy from the pollen. Better get that large, uh, better get that lost cargo. Oh, we're still, we still have the blue. For a second, I thought my, uh, my, the colors of my thing, of my suit had changed from blue to gray. Nice. <clears throat> Dust and dirt makes me sneeze really bad too. I normally get sick around spring and fall. This is why I like winter the most because I can just stay inside and bundle up. Yeah, it does. Winter does make it to where you want to bundle up, and especially what's really comfortable is like being like in a log cabin when it's cold outside. It, get uh, uh, being a chair right next to a fire and being all bundled up. And that and having hot chocolate as well. Okay, who decided it was a good idea to put a bridge here? I can't use this bridge. Guess it doesn't go to no road. Sneezing my cat me out, bless you. <laughs> Guess she knows my allergies are kicking in. I mean, it, it bless you on that. I know the fe feeling. It keep, I hate it when I sneeze because I don't know what it is. When, but whenever I sneeze, I always end up. It, it always ends up hurting. I hate, I hate this area so much. It's hard to really control everything. I'm trying to get across on a truck and it won't let you go across. Wait, nope. That wasn't the button I wanted. I wanted to check my map. And the headache is getting worse. I'm gonna be 
I'm going to set up my phone so I can lie down while watching. And do what you can to make yourself comfortable. I understand it can, when it comes to headaches, it can be real bad. Okay, we got enemies in the area. And these guys, they're not gonna use any shock moves. They're gonna uh, try to destroy the truck. Stupid rock. Let me get through. We made it through. Must be the tar field. Well, didn't want to get out. Thanks, level trust is you. That looks like the bill you know, over there. I may not be a big fan of the gameplay in this, but I do love the music they have in here. The music is so good. Delivered everything. Good job, Sam. Now access the terminal and bring the relay online.
Okay, Everything, the chiral network all set. And now it's connected. Look how much I've connected already. Damn, I'm connected a lot. This area is now connected to the chiral network, enabling you to see uh, and access other player structures. And with that, we're all linked up. Once you cross the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's second chance. Edgenot City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. Bond with Lou restored. Okay. Oh, yeah, in the mail. Okay, so Keep on keeping on. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Bring Edge Nut City into the Carol Network. Okay, so how am I supposed to get across? Uh, man, I gotta go all the way back over to Hartman's lab. And it took so long just to get here. Now I gotta go all the way back. Nope. I hate this button there. I wish they made it to where I, I have to hold it to when I'm in the truck. I know a way to get back up to Hartman's lab faster without having to go all the way around. Is still going backwards. I'm pressing the forward button. Go f Give me an all-terrain truck. One that can go over these rocks. I need that's what we need. We need an all-terrain truck.
Next time, in all, uh, Death Training 2, give us all-terrain vehicles. this out here so we can ch or charge up the truck this time I made sure to select generator and not shelter I just took uh, ibuprofen and my family immediately noticed I didn't look okay. My dad is making soup. Ah, soup. That is uh, always good for when you're feeling sick. That's de definitely good. Though so I'm wondering, what kind of soup is it? Because I uh, am curious to know what soup, the soup he's making. The classic that usually when you're sick is the chicken noodle soup. So another soup that would probably be good is New Weekly Clam Chowder, cause mm, it, is that uh, that a good soup? Oh, did I kill? Oh, I just knocked him out with the truck. <laughs> I knocked him out. Move. You're right, he's making chicken noodle, uh, chicken noodle the soup, but he puts hot sauce in my soup because I like spice. Ah. You, li you like having it as a spicy chicken noodle soup. Me, I, I don't mind if my soup has a little bit of spice, but not to where it's overpowering. 
Though I usually prefer having my soup without the spice. Just what I need, BTs. show up last time I was going through here. Why are they showing up now? No, no, I don't need you taking me. No, get off of me. No. Ah. Here we go again, where no doubt I'll have to fight the BTs and all my stuff gets strewn all over the place. in just a second since I deal with these BTs. And down goes one of them. Where's my... second ago they weren't here
Oh, time to collect the loot. <laughs> and then clean up my loot that I already had. Oh, there's the other Chiral. I was wondering where that patch was. It, of course, you already are connected to a lot of networks, so it's best when it comes to making deliveries, even if the car and the cargo gets a bit scratched, you'll still get the job done. Yep, I'll still get the job done. I do, f it, uh, but I do feel that they should have added the like the road making nodes. They should have added those here as well, because there was perfect places for them to add the roads. There we go. But why they cho uh, made the decision not to, yeah. I don't know why. But I do love the grenade launcher. I, I have to admit the grenade launcher really it, good with fighting the BTs. No, I thought I had loaded it. it didn't mean to do that. I wasn't done loading everything back up. Why do I want it? I don't want it in the hand. I want it in the, car, in the truck. I'm going to an anime convention, but it's not until November 3rd. Well, also excited because I've never been to an anime convention before. Nice. I hope you have fun at the convention when the time comes, Soul Keeper. I wish I could get anime convention, but where I am, there's not very many that happen. And even when there's one of the big ones that do happen, they're always on the West Coast. So unfortunately, I'm out of luck because it would be really expensive for me to try to go to one of those cons on the east Co uh, on the west coast. It would be real expensive to get, just to get there, because not only would I have to like get a plane ticket, it, not only to go to and back from the con, but I would also have to find if I wanted to. I wouldn't be able to even stay for the a full like time the cons going on because if I just do that it would be like really expensive because you have to find a hotel to stay at while at the con and th those places can be very expensive Okay, I think that's everything. Everything should be loaded back up. Well, no, no, I wanted to get back. I wanted to get back into the truck. But I do know there's one anime expo that's supposedly that from yeah anime ex. It, is, is I hope this year they do a little bit better with planning because I remember with an anime expo last year it the it was pretty bad because well I'm pretty sure the event it was pretty bad because they were so full to capacity that the fire marshals actually had to stop letting people into the con and also like people were getting like accused of stuff being stolen when they bought it like cutouts and stuff and they and they were getting damaged and I remember like the place where the artists were that they had to like put a caution because of how much carbon dioxide was in that one area
And I went completely the wrong way. in you that one day you'll grow to where they'll invite you to one of those big conventions oh if I get if a convention was asking me if they, if they wanted me to like do a panel at a con oh I know that that's when I've I've made it when I got when I have conventions coming to me asking for me to speak at the cons I definitely and I definitely will want to talk at one of those cons if they invited me to talk. If I couldn't be there physically and only virtually, maybe I can ha they can have one of the guys, you know, carry around and uh, or have a device where I'm looking at the con and virtually seeing what is there and like saying okay get it, uh, i'll take that and make sure to ship that to me like that's how it would be if i did go to one of the cons like if i couldn't be there physically but virtually uh, that's what i would be one is to have one of the guys like just have me on an ipad or something and uh, carry me and if they go oh, can you see everything i'm showing you and yes i can i can see everything <laughs> Why am I still going the wrong way? I'm trying to get back to the, the biologist. my best to get and get a ticket there and try to meet you are look where you're uh, going oh my gosh <laughs> yep if I did if I were do it because I sure like give them your name that's what I'll be doing if I knew you were coming I'd be give, uh, giving them your name to let you know and, and to, to let them know Do they have anything new going to Hartman's lab since that's where I'm heading? Deliver lost cargo. Oh wait, I could have I could have delivered this right to Hartman himself. Oh well, at least I do get some uh, some experience from that. Let's see if he has anything. As long as it's not the fish, because I am not doing that uh, that order. Yeah, I'm not doing the live fish. I had a hard enough time taking those, uh, trying to get those to Hartman. And not to mention it's time sensitive, so I can't really like stop and make repairs and get repairs to the truck done. I hope the soul would leave my body if I got there and someone said hey your soul right don't our, your our kids wait to meet you it would take me so much willpower not to run in the opposite direction <laughs> out of shyness <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, I can't understand that because when someone's in someone for the first time, it can't, it can't be nerve wracking. It's all uh, like, I'd be going, hey, she's getting away. Stop her. <laughs> okay. And then next thing you know, chase music going on. Okay, that's the path I want to go on, so I need to turn around. Nope, not letting any rocks fall on me today. Ugh. Okay, I'm on the... I am on the right path. Well, sort of. I can take take this path and get to where I need to go to Hartman. That wasn't the button. <laughs> Since I'm up low on battery, I'm gonna stop over here at this at this shelter since the battery is running low and I get a recharge here. There's a terminal here. Oh, no materials in this facility. Your work is great. Good news is my headache is going away. I really needed a laugh, so things are can't does it. Don't you dare have them chase me. I'll probably stand there for a quick second to calm down and then be able to walk over there. <laughs> don't worry, I wouldn't do uh, don't worry, I wouldn't do that. But the uh, the do worry about is that it was since that like they see uh, if I did get like really big big and like everybody was going like hey it's our hand I'd probably be the one I probably have to be the one ver person holding me virtually you probably have to have them running like going oh god no get run run <laughs> but definitely when it 
comes to the cons, I would try to be there in person and if I could. But if it wasn't in the cards, definitely virtually. Though I probably would be feeling nervous being in front of a whole bunch of people at one of the big cons, because those can't, it, I really don't like being a, in like huge crowds. I can deal if it was like for festivals or events. I can, I can, I don't mind being in the big crowds. But when it comes to it, like huge crowds, it's kind of hard not to. It, it's kind of hard to be in those situations. And hat and my glasses. I don't know what it is, but the blue just looks it just looks gray in this area. But it look is it, I'm glad that your headache is also, it's also going away, Soul Keeper. It means the ibuprofen it kicked in. And probably the laugh helped out as well. Hopefully I'm not in this area and no more BTs show up because I don't want to fight more BTs. We've, uh, I've had enough of the BTs causing my stuff to fall all over the place th if today. Thank you very much. I should have my grenade launcher on me. Can I go one? Can I have one BT encounter where my stuff does not fall down all over the place? And I have to pick it up. I mean, I don't know how many times today I've had to pick up my stuff from the truck. Can it just stay in the truck for once? Like, just leave my stuff alone. BTs, just leave my stuff alone. Just leave it in the truck. Stop making a mess where I have to pick it up. Stop knocking myself off. Lou, you're not helping. <laughs> Stop knocking my shotgun off. That's it, I'm running. I'm, I'm dealing with this BT. And now I look around my room, I think the most of the stuff I would need what, if I went to play to you, I would just have to make the horns and everything. 
Maybe I'll do that later on in the future. We're gonna, we're gonna look with, uh, with finding stuff to do the cosplay because I do know with cosplays they can't be expensive, especially when finding the right materials for the clothing. So I do know one thing: finding uh, camouflage pants won't be hard because those are easy to find. My, can, I have one BT encounter where my stuff does not get like all strewn all over the place like this. I mean, every time, every time today has been where I have to constantly go and load my stuff back up. Can, can I get? Why is it all is the inky black sludge when it comes to the BTs? Well, that's what the BTs are, but them dragging me out that would not. That's not the issue, is that every time when they do drag me out, they always cause my stuff to go all over the place. That's the issue I have with them. They just will not leave my stuff alone and they won't leave it in the leave it in the vehicle. And I'm up to and I have to put everything back in. If they would just leave my stuff alone and not uh, make it to where I have to constantly put everything back in, I would have no problem with B uh, fighting the BTs, but what gets on my nerves about them is they're constantly causing my stuff to fall out of the truck, which I've said before is how can the stuff fall out? As you can see, the truck is not like open. If it, if it had like an open trailer, in the back, if it was like that, I could see the stuff being thrown. Uh, why the stuff would get thrown out because it was wide open. But as you can see, it's completely closed. Yet everything gets thrown out. At a point, I I would jump into the game and grab everything before it went everywhere. Yeah, that. Yeah, time for the. Vi in time for the mini game in Death Stranding, Soul Keeper catches the cargo. And then it like do like an old pixelated game where it shows less st where the stuff uh, comes flying out of the truck and it's going do 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 and you're catching the stuff. don't know how much I had to hold myself back from laughing because I could see that being a game. <laughs> Get 
Weapon scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying I weapons restrictions. Let beginning scan. Weapons restrictions lifted. Loop pacified, truck repaired. Nice. Structure, like not city. Uh, it was probably one of those earlier structures I had that was being uh, that is being ruined because of the time fall. I remember I placed some stuff there. I really don't like it that the gloves, they don't stay on. Uh, the Johnny Silverhand, I wish they made it to where it was a cosmetic for the arms instead of it being a glove. Because that's the way I think it should have been with the Johnny Silverhand. Is it should have been a cosmetic like how the cyberware and the glasses are. That's what it should have been. Okay, I thought I had to come back here to get to, uh, to Hartman's lab to get across the tar belt. But I uh, was uh, but I didn't even need to come here at all. Okay, I need to look and see how I've noticed that your goggles sometimes glow when you turn your head in a certain way. Oh, that flat glow you're seeing, that is actually due to the PBR materials on the goggles. It's the lighting that's on VC face, so when I have my head turned a certain way, it, the light is catching on the goggles from the reflectiveness that it has on it. See what I see right now? That's a reflectiveness from the metal. That's what causing it to show it like that in VC phase. In on uh, in the effect. Like see how like with the mask on? You see the shine? That's from the lighting in VC phase. And I need to check to see how I'm supposed to get across the tar belt because I thought I had to go Back to Hartman's lab, but apparently not. So let me see. Lost the tar belt.
least you know your limits, huh? <laughs> Okay, now let me see. Okay. I already paired it multiple times to get supposedly the useful chiral relay at the edge. Once he... They did it in chapter eight. Some story beats play out. Die Harmon hits you with your Kodak to let you know you need to cross the top. Your final destination online previous objectives. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so, okay, I now know how to do it. I l just looked and I now n know how to get across the tar belt. I've been playing Honkai a lot too. I think my Trailblaze is now level 20 and most of my characters are level 16 or more, but I tried to pull Silver Wolf again and no longer you better not have infected me with your bad luck when it comes to its gotchas. I don't think it's me, it's me, it's the gotcha itself. I mean, I wanted to, I tried so hard to get Silver Wolf. I mean, I saved up everything, I all most of the Jade I had just to try to get her and no luck at all. All I got were things and I figured out what I'm supposed to do. Which means I need to go back to a previous low because I thought I had to go here to Hartman and I don't want to have to go through all that again if I don't have to. Let's see, so. Okay, let's see. Ah, here it is. I think this is it, the Chiral Relay. One, because to get back to the count relay, and it says I have to summon a BT. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, it told me what I have to do to get across. It says it's telling me to go into the tar itself.
Ah, uh, oh crap, I lost everything I had on me. Where's the one for the relay? No way to load here for the relay. Where is that? Sucks, I lost everything. Well, at least I got my grenade. The grenade launcher. Okay, it says I have to summon a BT, so I guess that's what it's telling me I have to do, so, uh, but I don't see no BTs here. And check, uh, maybe I need to check it again to see what I'm told to do. Okay, so that's what I have to do. I have to find the place to summon the BT. I left to get some chips and when I was about to open the bag, I realized I was about to open it upside down. Oh no! Upside down chips.
I have to find a place where BTs are to summon them because that seems to be the only way to get across the tar belt. Before doing it, I'm gonna make a save. And store this. Well, at least this time you're looking for the BTs and they don't come out of nowhere. Yep, this time I'm looking for them. Um, most of the time they show up when I don't want them, but this time I need them to show up. Okay, here we go. The only way west is through that. To make matters worse, I don't believe your PCC is capable of building anything that will get you across. There must be a way. We can't give up. Not with what's at stake. We'll see if we can't think of something here. But considering everything you've been through, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave those BTs well done, to you. you there it your all this I think I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> Yes, 
some big ones in the, in here. sound mad. Did we make it? Did we make it across the tar belt?
this guy. You don't want to scare the poor girl away, do you? She's in there. I can smell her. Of course, I wouldn't have known for sure if it wasn't for you and your wonderful network. <laughs> Bless your heart. And thank you kindly. Ew. Careful. Contents are fragile. Like the world and everything in it. <laughs> Me, I'm... I'm no exception. Ugh. I'm not the only one wearing masks, either. There's your boss, man. And that woman. And, oh, let's not forget little old you. Okay, it's okay. I know it ain't easy wearing a mask all the time. But now the mask can come off, right? Hey, hey, hey. You remember this? Nope, nope, nope. No. Mmm, poor sweet Amelie. She's holed up in the beach nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Hmm? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. But I wonder... When you look death in her eye... Will you blink? Ugh. Oh god, Ugh. Higgs just gives me the creeps. Episode 9, Higgs. Ugh, Higgs just gave me the creeps right there. Still with me, Sam? Even now, our way forward, our way to save Emily, is the same as always. Your first priority is to get the local distro center on the network. Until it's complete and everybody's connected, Higgs won't find it easy to get to Emily. She should be safe. So take your time, and do it right. Uh, uh, I had to leave- I had to leave my truck and everything else there. I hate having to do that. But I guess they made this be like a point of no return, I guess. Oh, not my chiral boots. Uh, my, other, my other pair of chiral boots, if I'd known this was going to happen, I would have put them on.
Remote detonation grenade launcher. Good work, Sam. You've made it as far as Bridges One ever did. We never pushed further west. Frankly, it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. Anyway, you're almost at Edgenot City. Your final destination, where Amelie should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more knot to go. One last time to put that Cupid to use. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge not online, you'll likely be revealing Emily's location to Higgs. You'll need to get to her before he does. Head to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. Are you there? Amelie? Can you hear me? Sam? Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. I'm, a I'm on the beach, Sam. I remember it being Our a Viking beach. that discovered the North Americas the first. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. Before Columbus was even so born. I remember being a Viking that discovered it first. The last Cupid to edge not Way before City. Columbus. What we started. I'll meet you in your room at the distro center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <gasps> Sam. You'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie? Okay, first, uh, Sam needs to take a shower.
Wait, I recognize that voice. First fabricated equipment. Remote detonation grenade launcher. Launches explosive projectiles, as you may have guessed. Can be used in conjunction with a variety of rounds depending on your needs. And yes, said rounds are indeed detonated remotely and at your discretion after firing. This is it, Sam. Edge Nut City, the last piece of the puzzle. Now you'll need more than just a Cupid to link this one up, though. You'll also be required to supply a network activation key. Anticipating terrorist interference, we held on to it for safekeeping. It's been sitting in that distro center gathering dust. Until now, collect it at the terminal and take it to Edge Nut City. Luckily for us, the automated systems at the distro center there still seem to be operational. So once the key is entered, it should automatically interface with the backbone network. A word of caution, Sam. The activation key has a unique identifier. If anything happens to it, you can't just print a new one. It's one of a kind. Irreplaceable. And for the love of all that's holy, don't lose it. And don't go breaking it either. You hear me, Sam? If ever there was a delivery knock to fuck up, it's this one. We're all counting on you. Have I never not delivered? I'm gonna need some assault rifles. Wait the fuck up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Thank you for the wake up, Samurai. Well, uh, I hope your day's been going well. And let's see. I think this I'm gonna need a speed skeleton all-terrain skeleton. I don't think it's gonna do me much good So I need the speed skeleton set up so I'm gonna save and I am actually going to be ending stream here for the day because we've been uh, done a lot today and I'll save this a little bit because I don't know what I'll be facing and how it's gonna take to get through all of it but I can tell we are close to the end game on this with this stranding so I am gonna be saving this for Monday and on Monday we will continue with the stranding I just arrived I know will but I've been going for five hours I need I need a take break and eat because I am get because I am because I am hungry and I haven't eaten since breakfast which was around 12 uh, uh, not 12 one or two I think that yeah it was like it was around one that was last time eight so I uh, so I'm hung hungry as all get out so I do need, so I be eating, but not to worry. I am going to be back on Monday and we're going to continue with Death Stranding on Monday and see what happens next because we're at the, we're close to the end of Death Stranding and I'm going to be doing, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> you know, people leaving well, you can't leave. Stay for the raid at least because we're going to be raiding out. So I'm going to take us on over, I'm going to take us on over to chat quick and you will be getting extra channel points from the raid well if you can get everybody's raid message while I let somebody for us to raid and of course the discord Willow, are you still there? Well, I know I'm ending as you just got here, but I've been going for five hours. <laughs> if you can't put the rate messages in and the Discord link for everyone, please. Okay, I guess I'll have to uh, raid. And this is for this raid is for subs, and this one is on subs. You guys can you know, like join the Discord here. It's linked to the Discord. If you like to uh, join, there is a link I do post when I go live or any changes in my schedule. So if you would like to join the Discord, there is the link.
Okay, let's see who we got on tonight. Let's see what Riker's up to. Okay, he's playing Lost Ark. See, what else we got? We love our new. Hmm. And. Yeah. Oh, I know who we can raid. We can uh, let's raid Red Claw. It's been a, lo a while, a long while since we last raided Red Claw, so I think we'll raid him. Mm. So let me get that set up for you guys. Okay, there we go. Rain's been set up. There we go. Oh, there we go. Rain's been set up. Now, I want to thank everybody who came to the stream today. I hope you all enjoyed watching me play Death Stranding. I will be back on Monday and we will be continuing with Death Stranding because we are close to the end of it and the story is getting really good and I want to find out what happens at the end. So we will find out next time and on Death Stranding ne next on uh, Monday. So see you guys all then. And with that, I'm going to say good night, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever is your time zones. Everybody, thank you for coming to the stream today, and I'll see everybody later.